Okay, so I realize I'm wearing a black shirt yet again. I have so many black shirts in my wardrobe, so I apologize for that. And um, obviously I have a backdrop that is black, so it looks like I have a floating head. Cool. Hey, what up guys? So I'm super, super excited. Um, yeah, I basically wanted to do another look featuring this beautiful gem of a palette and it's fabulous. It's, oh my God, it's, it's amazing. Like everything in here is good. It is made only with good goodness. Magical good goodness of good town, okay? Like this is fabulous. We're gonna start off here. I already have a piece of tape to use as a guide. I'm going to prime my eyelid. And with priming my eyelid, I'm gonna be using the Tried and True Elf Nude Linen Liquid Eyeshadow because it's my jam. And I'm gonna use a brush to kind of blend it out and make sure everything is in place and good. So with that being said, I'm going to put this on everywhere that I need it to go. And I'm gonna get over in this area as well because I have some discoloration. And I'm gonna blend it out. So, while I have you guys here, kind of excited because we got the apartment. Yes! So tomorrow I am going to start packing and that's gonna be a huge pain in the ass, but you know, it needs to be done. So. I'm excited. I'm basically going to be donating a lot of my stuff, like a lot of my clothes. I want to be simple. I just want to take what I, you know, what I need. I'm selling off some of my wigs. I've just got a lot, a lot going on right now. Um, pretty exciting though. Eh, you know, it's a fresh start. So now I'm going to move into doing the rest of the eye look. So I am going to prime that base that I applied by actually using the e.l.f. Prime and Stay uh, finishing powder. I'm just popping some of this on my eye just to kind of help with blendability later on. So that being said, I'm just literally dipping it in and patting it on my eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shade in here called Honey Butter right here and I'm going to apply this guy like all over my entire crease and my eyelid. So it's just almost the same color as my skin, but that's fine. Totally fine. And yes, I'm using a big fat blending brush to pop this on. I know it's not what I would typically use on an actual eyelid, but it works. So. Okay, so moving on here, I'm gonna grab a shade called Makeup and Chill, which is this dark brown shade right here. I gotta say, that shade in particular, the more I've used it, the less I really like it. It works, but I've noticed it kind of catching in places where I have wrinkles, and I'm like, oh, that's not cute. Um, it works though, you just gotta spend more time blending it out. So. Going in with Makeup and Chill, I am actually going to apply this all over my entire crease. So, basically everywhere where there's a crease, this is gonna go. And I'm applying quite a bit. I'm gonna turn my brush sideways and blend it upwards and outwards. So what I will be doing next is taking the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I have the illuminating one. I'm going to take a flat C brush, and this is from Zoeva. This is the 250, I think it's 256 smudger. And it could be 255. I washed my brushes and I cleaned them a little too much. So the name on this one is kind of faded a bit. I'm going in with the shade called Honeymoon which is this shade right here. I should call it Imposter Honeymoon because it's not the original Honeymoon um, from the Romantic Eye Palette released. I wanna say, was it 2013? Maybe it's older. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. I'll have to verify that. It might even be like 2012, 2011. But I'm grabbing this shade and I'm going to put this all over the first part of my eyelid. kind of building a cut crease here, 
without using any concealer or anything. It's going to be a soft cut crease, so that way it's not too dramatic, but it's still incredibly pretty. So I'm bringing the shade almost all the way over, guys. I'm leaving a little bit of space over here because I do have a plan for that. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take another flat brush that's a C brush. I'm going to grab a shade in here called Hot and Bothered. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set again to apply this one. And whenever you're applying eyeshadows wet and you're trying to blend, what I like to do is I'll grab a little bit of it and I start on the other half of the eye and I very slowly work my way towards the other color. So just to give you guys an example here, I'm going to start on the outer edge and pat around a little bit. Focusing more on the outer edge of the eye and then after there's like less product on my brush, that's whenever I pat it into the other shade. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the highlight shade here in Heaven, which is this really nice matte, kind of like very pale skin color, and I will be applying that right below my brow. Next I'm going to grab a shade in here that is called Chocolate Martini. And this is a deep, deep brown, Ooh, wrong one, sorry guys. <laughs> this is a very, very deep brown with like very beautiful gold sparkle to it. I'm going to very, very lightly start on the outer edge of my eye and kind of just put it right there on the outer edge and the crease. Everything will be blended out here in a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and Blend around a little bit here on the outer edge to build up a little bit of depth. So what I'm going to go ahead and do next, guys, is I'm going to be blending this. So I'm going to go back in with that very first fat buffer brush that I have. And I'm going to just kind of blend the edges of the highlight to the brown. Okay guys, so what I'm going to go ahead and do next is take an eyeliner here from Urban Decay. This is in Covet, and it is a, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It's a very, very pretty, like, deep green. Oh my gosh, like, this is, like, this color is legit. This color is so beautiful. So, I'm going to take a little bit of this, and what I'm going to do is go right underneath my lower lash line and I'm gonna bring it over some, stopping about two-thirds of the way over. Then you gotta be very, very quick with this. You have to blend it out. So I'm gonna take a smudge brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to smudge this. And then I'm gonna go in here with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a shade here called Honey Pot, which is right here. Now, with this particular shade, I'm only putting it on the inner corner of my eye. It's going to help make everything come together and pop. So I'm going to go in and apply this particular color right here on the inner corner. And I'm also going to bring it over and have it marry that green shade just a little bit. Now I'm also going to apply just a little bit right here on the very beginning of the lid like that so that way there's a little bit of continuity here so what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is take a very very small skinny pencil brush and I'm gonna grab a shade from ColourPop and this is the shade Rebel which is a beautiful deep dark matte green going to put this right on top of that liner from Urban Decay and I'm going to be bringing it over just to kind of blend everything so 
for the liner, I am using two different liners. The upper lash line that I'm going to be winging out is going to be a shade here by Stila. This is the Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner in Smoky Quartz Ink. Oh my gosh, this is phenomenal. Let me let me just show you, okay? Like, let me just show you. It is beautiful. So I have some on a brush here. And I'm going to just swatch this. I hope you guys can see this. It is gorgeous. It's like a metallic, glittery, like green brown. Oh, mm hmm. Yes. And I'm gonna just do this off camera because it's gonna be hard for me to do. I have a palette sitting up here that has a big mirror so that I can, you know, kind of be more, you know, eye level with you guys, I guess. And for the waterline, I'm actually going to use my trusty tried and true Revlon Luxurious Color in Black Velvet because this is my jam. So I will be right back. So I went ahead and lined both the upper lash line and then of course I got my waterline. What I will be doing next is using a mascara. And I always use mascara on my upper lash line. I generally wait. Um, to do the lower lashes until after I've completed most of the look. So going in with the Wet n Wild mascara that I always use, I'm going to try and make my lashes look bomb. And then I'm gonna go in with like the little fibers because yeah. And then I'm going to wait about 30 seconds and then I'm going to pop right back in, of course, with the mascara. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do next, guys, is take my Wet n Wild foundations here. I have um, ivory, I guess soft ivory and soft beige. I will be mixing them together because right now I do not have a concealer that is perfect. Um, I have one that's too dark and then I have one that's way too light. So. With that being said, I have to be creative. And let me go ahead and mix this on the back of my hand real fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint on this foundation shade that I made. I made it just a little bit lighter than what I was already wearing. I'm also going to put just a pinch around my lips like so. And then I'm going to take a micro beauty blender and you guys know the drill. I'm going to blend this out upwards and outwards here. Okay, and next I'm going to take the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. And the one that I use is in Translucent. It's the only one that I use, but I know that they do have a few different shades now. So taking this product here, I am going to go ahead and set everything that I just applied. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do next is kind of warm up the edges of my face. I will be using the e.l.f., um, I believe this is the contour powder. I mixed a few other colors in here, so, well actually just one, it's like a blush color when I took this on the road with me. Um, so I'm going to grab a little bit of this shade right here and I am going to just gently and very lightly kind of carve out my cheeks a little bit and go around the edge of my face. Now I am going to go in with a mineralized skin finish and this one is in refined which is kind of hard to find right now. This is a very old shade. It's been discontinued, but my God, it's beautiful. I am very gently going to kind of add a little bit of sheen to the cheeks as a blush. And then for continuity, I will be adding a highlight. Now the highlight that I'm going with today is another hourglass highlighter, and this is in luminous light, like so. So I'm going to grab this and just apply it to the very top edge of my cheek and I'm going to bring it down into it. Bam! That packs a shiny freaking punch. For the lips, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. But I'm definitely going to look at my collection and see what I could find. 
So I wanted to use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Grunge. So what I'm going to do with this now is I am going to kind of blend it out a little bit. I don't really want this crazy like line. So I am going to kind of blend it downwards a bit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take a shade in Frick and Frack from ColourPop and this is kind of like a nice, I don't know, like mauve kind of brown red? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Basically, I, I love this palette. I have nothing but good things to say about it, except I am a little peeved off at Too Faced for renaming a shade that I really, really love. Um, basically the shade Honeymoon from an older palette called the Romantic Eye Palette. You guys are more than welcome to Google it. They added Honeymoon in this palette, but it's not even in the same color family. Like, it's... I don't know why they did that. They should have added the actual Honeymoon shade in here, like the old one, because, oh my god, it would just bring more... I don't know, life to this palette, in my personal opinion. Um, if you're not a huge fan of the original Honeymoon shade, then this palette's gonna be perfect for you and just disregard what I just said. Like, it's still an amazing palette. I'm just a little peeved off that they renamed something. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's totally it for this look. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you have any questions, you guys know how to reach me.